Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how you can make a lot of platinum in Warframe. Now, I'm going to start off with a the beginner for beginner side first, then we're going to go make our way down to like a end game type point. So, for starters, what you need if you're a beginner is we're going to be talking about vault runs. Vault runs is a very, very good way to basically get a decent amount of platinum uh, as a beginner. All you need to have is the node uh, Deimos, and you also need to have uh dragon keys dragon keys can be obtained in the dojo uh yeah so basically what you need is you need these are four dragon keys right here uh, if you're doing this solo you need to make sure all of these are equipped in your gear if you're doing it with multiple people make sure each person has a different one than what you do so now i normally do these solo because you can do these solo so for, for example what i normally like to do is Take my Loki, for example. You can take any frame you want. Rhino is also a good one if you're a starter. But Loki is one that I normally use. Now, what I'll do is I'll go as a my loot one. That is just basically a really, really fast one. Because each one of these keys does give you a debuff, basically. For example, the bleeding gives you less health. The decaying, I believe, gives you uh, less shields. The extinguished... Uh, is it the extinguished that gives the damage? Yeah, it decreases your damage and then the hobbled decreases your movement so you want to make sure all these four are in your uh, gear like this you don't have to actually use them if you know what i mean in the gear but basically just make sure they are in your gear and you'll see why so now once once you've done that what you want to do is you want to go solo you want to go to deimos right here and do this node right here the her end now what you're looking for is a door now what we're going to do is we're going to run through this door through the basically we're going to run through the map like normal uh, the reason why doing capture is just capture is the most quickest to do so yeah cap capture is just really easy and these mods what you can get it can sell to about 20 platinum each and they're really really easy to do and you can do them really really quick so now what we're really looking for is a door with like four keys that look different to this now you'll be able to tell once you see them but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through this and I'm going to cut to when we actually do find the door. There we go. Right, so now that we've found the door, this is what the door looks like. What you simply just want to do is walk up to it, press the interact button and make sure you claim this from Excalibur Prime. Then what you want to do is just simply just go to the extraction and yeah, then you've got a mod that can sell for a decent amount now i'm going to put on screen a couple of the mods that can sell for around 20 to 30 platinum um i wouldn't say go lower than 20 especially for these mods uh some people try and get them cheaper but they can definitely be they can definitely sell for 20 platinum 100 percent now all you just want to do is do is be patient when selling uh that's what i highly recommend is being patient i always say that on stream as well when when buying or selling stuff you just want to be patient because you would eventually get the price that you're actually looking for so here for this run we've got transit fortitude that is a actually a very really good mod that can actually sell for 20 platinum or 20 to 25 platinum because it's actually a really really useful mod so that's one way of actually doing it of getting some platinum and the next one that we have is relic runs now this is again really really simple to do it's not as simple as vault runs but you can get more platinum with doing it but it takes a lot more longer to do and it it depends more on look as well so it takes a little longer to actually do this way because one you have to obviously have the relics you have to have um void tracers as well to basically irradiate some relics but i'm going to make going to tell you guys on how you can actually make it a little easier so i'm just going to take all these off and then we'll go over it so with relics you are obviously when you open relics you get prime parts uh, what you want to do with these prime parts is you want to try and get a set. It doesn't really matter what Warframe set because each Warframe set, in my opinion, never sells lower than 100 Platinum. That has always been my uh, mark. I've never sold a Warframe set under 100 Platinum just because they are very, very good Warframe sets are in general. So I don't really sell Warframe sets for under 100 Platinum. So when you have relics that I have loads of because I've played the game for a very long time, that basically each relic has different prime parts in. Now, for example, a little, little tip here, say you're going for a certain prime, say you go over to here and you see that you have, you've nearly got a Atlas set, for example. You've nearly got an Atlas set, like you've just like, 
got one part for it out of this, for example, then try and get the rest of that part. So what you could do is just simply just search Atlas or the frame that you're trying to get, and then it'll show all the relics that you actually that have Atlas parts in. And you see some of these are rare. What you can actually do is obviously make these radiant. These cost 100 void traces, and it basically makes the odds of the rare one go up. And obviously also the uncommon ones as well. Basically makes the rarity of them go up. So you want to make sure you're doing that. For the common ones though, obviously you don't really want to make the rarity of the... If you get trying to get Atlas Prime Blueprint, for example, you don't want to make the rarity of it go up just because it's just going to make the commons less likely to get. So that's basically on how you do that. You, then you want to also try and find an exterminate. Exterminate is a very, very good one to do because exterminates can give you... Basically, they're really, really quick doing exterminates are. Uh, all you have to do is just get kills. You get your void tracers really quick. You get your uh, relic. Uh, you get a 10 really, really quick. Another good thing to do as well is go into a recruiting chat. And also, say, for example, you're doing a radiant relic. Put the relic you're doing. So, say, for example, I don't know, an Axe B4, for example. Uh, and then put Axe B4 rad and then put a number. And then the people that put that number will then obviously you invite the people that put the number. For example, this guy right here that's doing Hydron 15 wave at 777. These two people here want to do Hydron 15 waves right here, what he would have invited. So really, really simple right there. Next thing I have is Akuva Liches. Now this is where we kind of get to the end game-ish point of the game. Now Akuva Liches are kind of hard, but kind of easy at the same time. Now, Kuva Liches, for example, like mine, can be obtained in... What you can do is you can go to the Sedna Exterminate, and every time you run this, that Sedna Exterminate, a Lich will pop up. Now, the best ways to actually get decent Platinum from it, this is the mission that I do here, by the way, the Sedna Exterminate, and you can get a Lich right there. But the weapons that you are looking for is the Kuva Nucor, the Kuva Brahma, the Kuva Comb. Now, these are a couple of more weapons out there that you can obviously... Yeah, but they are three main weapons that can sell for a lot of platinum. And also, what you want to be doing is make sure you're running the right uh, frame. To the, cause basically, the frame that you take, make, it gives you the element. So if you're taking Seren, it will give Toxic, like this, for example. Uh, this also has the Toxic Ephemera as well. So, say for example, I got a Kuva Nucor on this one as well. And then it had the Toxic Ephemera. That can sell for a lot of platinum. Now, to me, I don't really know the prices of Kuva Liches that much, but they can sell for at least in the 200s to 400s Platinum, depending as well on the weapon bonus as well. If you have a high weapon bonus, it can sell for a nice amount of Platinum. If it's like a 50% weapon bonus, it can sell for quite a decent, and it has an Ephemera on as well. It's a very, very nice amount of Platinum that you can make. Again, I don't really know the prices of Kuva Liches because I don't really sell Kuva Liches too much, but it's another way on how you can also make Platinum. Next, we have Eidolon Hunting. Now, Eidolon Hunting can be very, very good. I know a couple of people in my Discord do Eidolon Hunting a lot. Uh, basically, what Eidolon Hunting is, at nighttime in Cetus, a Eidolon will spawn, and you can then get Arcanes. Arcanes are basically stuff that can help out your Warframe. Uh, I'll show you real quick. So, Arcanes are these things right here. Now, Eidolon Hunting is not easy. You do need to make, a, make sure you have a decent build, and if you have a really good build and a really good team, you can get a lot of arcanes in, in basically increasing your amount of platinum you get. So ones that can sell for a decent amount. Again, I don't do iron hunting too much, so don't like judge me too much. But ones that can sell for a decent amount, arcane barrier, arcane energized, definitely. Basically, a lot of the rare ones, so you see a lot of the white ones can sell for a lot, but all of these can sell. People always want them, even arcane nullifier, for example. People will want Arcane Nullifier because people will use that in Idolons. So again, yeah, Arcane Guardian is another one as well because you get armor. But all these Arcanes right here, you can sell for Platinum. And yeah, Arcane Energize is a really, really good one and can sell for quite a lot because a lot of people use it. Also, there is sometimes events that uh, DE put on where you can actually get these Arcanes. Like the uh, there was an event before, I forgot exactly the name of it. But you could get arcanes and it did make the price of it go down. But if something ends up coming out and then it obviously goes away, for example, like primes, for example, when they get vaulted and unvaulted, if you farm a bunch of them primes, for example, Nova, for example, is a really good example. Farm 
try and farm as many nova sets as possible and if you're patient just wait like two to three months and then sell that prime the price of it will go up a lot more especially being nova nova sells for a lot because nova is a very good frame and you can make a lot more platinum platinum out of it now i know that was more to the relic runs but i just want to explain it about that and next we let next we have got to buy and reset now this is the last one and this is what i personally do is buy and reset the most easiest one to do and the most relaxing you can just watch films watch tv shows youtube whatever do something else while doing this so what i normally do is i'll buy and resell so what do i mean by that so really, really simple is i'll see what primes i have basically nearly got so for example i have these are all the primes in the that i've put that i know really well not really need but need so i need a wukong prime blueprint and an echo prime systems anonymous prime neuroptics and chrome prime neuroptics they're the ones that I'm one part off. Now, I don't always buy parts. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll buy a set. If I know that I've got a really good deal, then I'll buy a set. Like a lot of people will sell Wukong Prime for like 50 platinum, 40 platinum. Um, okay, this guy's selling uh, 88. Uh, but basically, a lot, of, a lot of times people sell their Prime sets really, really cheap because they're desperate. And some good frames to buy and resell is Vault vaulted frames so vault seren all that now what i normally do with vaulted frames is instead of buying the whole set is i try and buy the parts separately now yes it takes more trades but you can get it cheaper and i've bought like a vault prime set for like under 100 platinum by like getting each part for like 20 plat each and yes it takes a lot of patience uh, especially with the vaulted frames because some people know the price of them, some people don't, some people are desperate, all that. And uh, yeah, Vault Prime, I've sold him multiple times for like 300 platinum and bought each of his parts for like 20 plat each. So about 100 platinum in general bought his set for 100 and sold it for 300. So yeah, buying and reselling is really, really simple. Make sure you do know the prices of the frames. Don't like skyrocket or something. But just make sure you're getting like 40 platinum profit. The reason why I go with 40 platinum profit is because that is the price of a three-day booster. And that is basically what I normally use my platinum on is boosters. And especially like uh 30 day. I always get the 30 day booster because it's uh cheaper in the long run. For example, uh 40 day right there and then obviously times up by 10 it costs 400 and yeah so yeah that's basically on the best ways on how i get platinum is buying and reselling uh, relic runs as well is good for beginners same with vault runs if this video did help you out do make sure you do drop a like and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a ton and uh yeah see you guys later peace out